Introducing your host for the 2014 IRI, Mr. Colin Full. Good morning. Good morning, Indianapolis, and welcome to the 2014 Indiana Robotics Invitational. We've got 68 of the best teams in first here at Lawrence North High School fighting for a chance to put their name on one of those blue banners as the 2014 champions. We've got teams from the United States, we've got the best teams from Canada, and for the first time ever, we've got a team from Mexico here in Indy. Just a couple of quick statistics about the teams that made it here. There were over 130 applications. You guys are the top of the top. Teams here won 70% of their matches throughout the year. That's counting championship matches. That's counting elimination matches. 70% of their matches here were won by these teams. The teams here represent 65 regional and district wins, and 29 of those are at unique events. So 29 unique event champions are at the IRI in 2014. 74 of the 98 events, official events that first ran this season, 74 of the 98 have a team that competed in the eliminations at this event. That's incredible. And 10 out of the 16 teams that competed on Einstein are here this weekend vying for a shot to become IRI champions. We've got 102 matches to get through before we move into our alliance selection and the eliminations. Once again, there are four team alliances all the way through the elimination tournament. Tonight, we've got a dinner for all the teams where you can socialize, make some new friends. We've got a talent show, which is always one of the best parts of this event. We've got a laser light show afterwards, and then a very special performance from Dean Simmons and the Caymans that I'm sure everybody's gonna love. Over on this wall over here, we've got team donated items as part of a silent auction. Uh, you can bid on those throughout the event. We'll announce when those things are going to close. I think it's around noon tomorrow, um, so pay attention there. We've also got on eBay an automatic bid for a 2015 IRI slot. We put it on eBay so that teams from across the country could, could bid on it. The, uh, this next year's slot is already up to over $1,000. And all that money is going to two charities. The first is Riley Children's Hospital here in Indianapolis. Uh, the second is the court appointed special advocates for children in Howard County, which is up where Kokomo is located. Both of those really do a great job for helping out kids across the state. Tomorrow morning, We'll hand out our IRI Mentor of the Year. Uh, you can put your nominations in the box that is over by the entrance to the volunteer room at the first uh, side of the silent auction table. We'll also hand out our Volunteer of the Year, the Indiana First Foundations Award, and one of the cool things about IRI, we're gonna hand out some scholarships as well, uh, help some kids you know, get a leg up for, for college next year in the fall. One of the things I wanna do, I wanna give a big thanks to the team the team from the Pacific Northwest District who brought all of their stuff here to IRI. They're helping make this webcast as good as it can be. There are actually two webcasts of the IRI. Because of the demand for people that can't be here, that want to watch this, uh, the, the caliber of teams that we have here compete, we've got two web streams going, so they're, they're, they're streaming two feeds. The first will be the feed that, that you guys are seeing on the screens with our, our you know, mobile cameras and things like that. The second is just a full field view for anybody that just wants to see that. Uh, so we wanna give a thanks to everybody that's tuning in and watching via Ustream. Uh, we have some other special guests here. We've got uh, Jennifer and Nolan, who you may see walking around. Uh, they're writing a book about all the different robotics competitions that there are for students. And so you may see them around asking questions of our volunteers, asking questions about you, the teams. They're really interested in how the teams interact with the robot, how the robots interact with the field, and all the mechanics that go into running a first event. I was talking to her this morning, um, and she said that she's seen a lot of different robotics events, especially those designed around high school and college age students. And first is by far the most complicated. And I think that 
while that may be true, it shows just how gifted everyone that's here is, that we can throw this really complicated game at you every year, and you come up with these beautiful, amazing machines that can play it at such a high level. And the fact that people outside the community are taking notice that they're here, I think, is a testament to you guys. So thank you so much. We've also got two first staffers here from New Hampshire, Derek and Miriam. Uh, Derek is here to help evaluate this new prototype field that was designed by Andy Mark uh, for potential use in future seasons. Miriam is here because of Indiana's transition into the district model and the Indiana Robotics Invitational and the success that it's had over the last 15 years is a big part of the district model and a big part of Indiana's transition. We've also got 50 young women from Indianapolis who are part of the Power Camp. It is a STEM-based camp, so they'll be here. We've got some tour guides taking them around, but they may be asking you questions about your robot. They feed into one of the Indianapolis teams. Uh, we've also got, I want to point out, we've got Andy, Chris, Jeff, and Jason over on the side of the field. Those are some of your, the members of your host committee. They're, they're the chairs. If you've got questions about the event, if you need help with something, see them. They've each got a different area of responsibility, but they can help you out. Now, because you came here to play some robot matches, let's get into some matches. First, will everyone please rise for our national anthems? First, the anthem of Mexico. Please remain standing for the Canadian National Anthem. And finally, the National Anthem of the United States.
All right. We'll ask the teams to come on out, set up their robots. If you've got song requests, and he asked that I ask you to keep them appropriate, our DJ is at FIM underscore DJ. You can find him on Twitter. Hit him up, and he'll try and get your songs played. As I said, this year's event, we've got a ton of great MCs and game announcers from all across the country who wanted to be here with these teams at IRI. So to lead it off, representing events in Wisconsin, in Minnesota. He's been at championship. Please give a round of applause for your D, your MC, Mr. Tyler Olds. Yeah, baby, what's going on in Indianapolis? Let's hear it! Holy cow, 68 teams here, the best of the best of the best, sir! We're gonna get these fantastic robots powered up. 102 matches going on between today and tomorrow before we get into the elimination rounds. Teams fighting for those top eight spots. Match number one coming in just a moment. Stand by.